Hello, welcome to Board Games with Neuros. I'm Joseph and I'm here today to play some uh, digital game again on Steam. It's time for Lords of Waterdeep. This is a game that I haven't played in, I think, two years live actually. Uh, but I, I do enjoy it. I uh, played it a bunch uh, recently when we went to Essen. We played it in the car on a tablet <laughs> and had a lot of fun with it. And then we played the sort of pass and play, so we, we shifted it around between the players. But now um, I'm going to play against the AI on Steam. And I think that, um, yeah, I, I think it could be quite fun. I mean, this is an older game, of course, so uh, you might already know this game very well. And so on, you might even have tried it on Steam. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just doing it gonna, for fun. Just um, play, keep playing some digital games to just mix things up uh, on the channel. So, let's see. I mean, there's been a lot happening today. Um, I'm going to do a create the game here. I did release both the uh, top five corporations for Terraform Mars and the um, solo playthrough of Quacks of Quedlingburg, which was really fun. So, those are on the channel today. And then, yeah, you know, getting late here. Uh, nice sitting by the computer. Just play some more games. I think I will... So here you can set like how many players, you can set the AI, how, how good the AI should be. So I'm playing with two uh, average AIs, which seems nice. And I'm the red sashes of course here, Nera Mas, the little dwarf there as well, I chose that image. So let's get going, first round. And uh, yeah, if you don't know this game, it's a classic worker placement game where you're just, you know, gathering resources. Basically, it's Dungeon and Dungeons and Dragons, but you're like you're not the heroes. You're sort of the merchants or the the no the the noblemen in town that send out these heroes on quests. And when you do that, you need to gather you know warriors and and rogues and and wizards and so on, and send them out to do different quests, and that will score you points, and then that's how you win the game. Um, and let's see, I need to figure out where to put my logo so I don't mess that up. Kind of did that last time when I played Terraform Mars. I forgot to move it since I played Scythe, but that's that's okay, I guess. So I'm the red player. I can go anywhere I want here on this worker placement spot, and of course, uh, later on you can also go to um, sort of the um, what's it called? You can build your own buildings, and then other people might jump on those buildings and do the action, and then you get some benefit as well, which is nice. So let's see, I have some, first of all, we want to check. I'm the um, Dernan the Wanderer. I need to do, or I should do, Commerce and Warfare Quest, because that would score me extra points. And this is secret from the other players normally when you play. Uh, there's a bunch of these different roles, sort of. So, uh, let's see, Warfare, Commerce. Uh, I have Warfare, there's Warfare and Commerce out there, okay. Um... Let's see, I think I think I want to do this one because then when I complete when I do that when I complete this, then if I keep completing commerce quests, I score two bonus points. So that's nice. It's one of these uh, plot quests. So I think I want to get that then. Okay, so then my first action should be to go over here. And I'll I'll do this. I'll pick up some money as well. I hope that you can hear me okay. I'm not really sure how loud the in-game sound is right now. Uh, but So I, ho I hope that you can hear me okay, uh, even though I do have the in-game sound going here as well. And when I go here, I get two uh, money. This is all, these are coins, pretty cool coins in, in real life. They, I mean, they look really cool with the hole in them. And I'm going to pick up this quest. That's, that's my thing here, what I'm doing. And then we just move on. And now the computer will do his uh, moves, uh, so you can sort of tag along with what the AI is doing. Um, and they, they are pretty good, I would say. Like, they play like a tree card now that got them two uh, whites, and I get one white as well. It's like the priests, basically. It's what it represents. And so it's back to my turn. And if you um, tell me in the chat if you can hear me okay, uh, otherwise I can adjust the settings, of course, for the sound. 
So it's my turn, and I think I will go now. Uh, let's see, what what in tree cards do I? Oh, I have two mandatory quests. This is kind of this is really fun when you play against human players because then you can give them a mandatory quest. They have to complete that before they can do any other quest, which is, is really annoying to be honest. Um, so I think I will go. I think I might do. I, I think I will go over here to the harbor. When you go to the harbor. Uh, you can play one uh, in tree card. So I'll just play this one, and I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'll just give it to the blue player here. Doesn't matter. Uh, at this stage, nobody has any points and so on. So, so that was my action. And when you go to the harbor, the nice thing is that at the end of the round, the guy that you placed on the harbor, you will get to play somewhere else. So, you're sort of doing double action. I think also, let's see, if I want to do, I want to do this quest, right? Uh, this commerce, so I need two orange and one white and, and some money. Um, you know what, I'm going to build a building, I think. I don't really like the buildings that are out there though, but I am going to build a building. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to build this one, it cost me four um, coins. The nice thing here is, oh, I do get a point, but the nice thing now is that I can go here and pick up uh, black cubes from this base. But if someone else does it, I will also get one black cube as a bonus. So it's always nice to have those some buildings out at least. There's one of these like characters that has the goal of building buildings. And I, I love that one. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't get it that often because I, I'm not sure how many there are. I think there's like eight characters or something. So now green comes over here and I get a black cube as well. So that's nice. And he's completing that mandatory that I gave him. And now my worker comes home from the harbor. I just need two orange. It's a bit sad that he took this. Orange are the warriors actually. So where would I go then? The options are kind of limited here in the beginning. The, until people start building more buildings that you can go to. So I think I might actually just go over to the castle. I will get to, to be first player and I'll, I'll get one entry card as well. It's nice to be the first player. Oh, okay. That was, that looked pretty good. Yeah. This is choose one of the following. Okay, so I can get my orange cubes that way. Or my warriors, I should say, if, I, if you want to keep it thematic. It's, it's really pasted on this theme, I think. But So I'm first to act. Um... I'll just grab these guys then from here actually um, and then I have enough to no 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 I need two more money that's the thing because if I can't do the quest it's gonna come up here as an option but uh, so I need two more money okay so he's doing a commerce quest and that let him build a building as well um, that's a good building though wow we got to build that for free that's an awesome one because if you use it you get to use the space that someone else has taken um, okay so I need some money right uh, and there's there's a warfare quest out there though I do want to do commerce quest but let, let's do this one to get the two two coins I need and I get this warfare quest it's really high scoring 20 points so I will try to do that later on uh, as well and I think that was it, right? Yeah. So now I can do the commerce quest here. That if I keep doing commerce quests, I'll score extra points. So that's awesome. So we'll just hand that in. And there we go. And I do have one more commerce quest. No, I don't. I don't have warfare. Okay. So I'm going to try to pick up commerce quests. Oh, here's actually a good spot. He's playing an intrigue card that lets him pull out four cards, four quests, take one, and then you know send the other one crafting style around. I'm gonna take the commerce, of course. And this is nice. If I do this one, then when I take money somewhere, I also get a black cube. Wow. I want to do this one uh, first of all now. So I need a bunch of black, but I can work that out, I guess. And so that was my choice. Now it's my turn. And I do want to go to the harbor. Yeah, so I'll go to the harbor and I'll play this this card. 
that lets me choose one of these rewards and I will choose the two black cubes. So that was my action. And oh, so he built that one. Hmm. Now he did that and acted as he was on in my space. That's a really good card. Okay, so let's see. I I do need what is it? I need two more. No, I need one purple cube. That's all I need. No money as well. Money and purple. Um. Uh, Money is taken already, so I might do this one actually. If you get two blacks and a purple, he gets a bonus though, which is a bit bad. But... Okay, Molly Mock, um, whatever makes you happy. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. A new round, and I'm still the first player, which is nice. Nobody's taken that. And uh, let's see. I need money, so I guess I just go over here then, because then I can do this quest. And now, when I take money, I'm also going to get uh, black cubes. And since I'm doing a commerce quest, I'm going to get two extra points, which which is <laughs> really nice. So that's 10 and then this shows up and that's two more. I'm starting to build some sort of combination here. You want to find a combination of, of uh, good effects on your cards really. Okay, so what do I do now? Um, there is a commerce quest up here. That requires a lot of money. But yeah, let's go for it. So let's do this take this and when I do that I will also get the black cube right because I did take money there we go I don't need that much to do this I need what is it um, a white and a purple That's, and some money of course was well, like nine something <laughs> that's a lot of money um, I need to find a way to make money well, that's actually a way to make money. The commerce quest up here that showed up. I might do go for that one. And yeah, let's do it. I also get a um, intrigue card by doing this. So then the plan is to do that one first. And that takes some orange yeah I need three orange to do this and then I will get the money that I need yeah for the other one so that's the fun thing in this game it's all about combinations like doing one thing that leads to the other thing um, and so on as I think it's quite hard to you know keep up with whatever the uh, the AI are doing here, uh, but yeah, it, it's possible. Uh, you can try to keep track of what he's doing, especially when you get into the game. You're more used to the game than you can, you know, follow along, which is important, of course. It's important to keep track of what the AI is doing. So now I'm gonna go here because that's four black cubes. Nobody gone here, so it's been filling up there, and. That was my own building, so I didn't get the bonus, but... Now I think I will try to... see. I have a bunch of black ones. I need orange, right? Yeah, I just need three orange to do what I'm planning to do. So I guess I will go here. Well, let's, let's see, could I do... Um... No, I, I want to do this first. So let's go here and play this card. Uh, get a white one, and then everybody can give me a white to score five points. If they don't, though, uh, I mean, if they do, that they get five points, but I get the, the white cube, so that's good. Oh, they didn't do it? Okay. So 
So, still need a three orange. Um, I can get two. Yeah, yeah, I can work it out. And uh, let's see. I rather I could go there to get two whatever whatever I want, but then the owner, the blue player, gets one as well. So I rather go up here. And just take two orange. You can play this online as well against other players. I haven't tried that yet, but. Okay. Well, now I will actually. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure what to do. I need, I need one more orange cube. I can't really pull that off right now. I think I'll just go for the money then. Because I do need money later on here as well. And when I take money, I do get a black as well. So that's good. Uh, let's see. So, and in this round, we get a, uh, an extra worker. So now we have four. Which is nice. Okay, so. More orange is needed. So let's just go here. And then I can do this quest. That would give me six points and a bunch of money. Which is nice. Because with that money, um, I also get two extra points for as it is a com commerce quest. And then I get four extra points at the end of the game for doing commerce quests. And now I'm getting close to doing this one. I just need one purple, really? Yeah. Nice. Uh, so one purple. That's not hard to get. can actually get it right now. Because everybody gets to choose one thing. So I'll take a purple. These just keep beast. They are just doing quests like crazy. You can see the score here. They have the blue has 23, 36 for the green. I have 29. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna go to the harbor and I'm gonna play the mandatory quest to the green player. Just make it a bit harder for him. Just slow him down a bit. And now I can complete this quest, which is nice. That's 25 points. Well, actually 27, because it's a commerce quest, so I get the two bonus as well. So that's awesome. So I'm taking the lead there on points. Um, but there's still a bit to go in the game, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so he's building another... No, he's doing the building there. And he's doing the mandatory quest that I gave him. He could do that right away, obviously. Uh, let's see. So where do I go now? What's the next one I want to do? I could do warfare quests, but at the same time I do want to do commerce if I can. But there's no commerce out here. I think I'll go for this one. So I'm going to need... Uh, I'm going to need a lot of stuff. But orange... Orange, white, and purple. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. I'm going to take some money. Because I might want to build another building as well. Okay, so I have some money I could build now. And... This is nice for getting orange and yeah, I could get a lot of orange by using this one. So let's do that. And if if someone else goes there, I get two coins as well, which is nice. I don't like it in the game that you can't see the buildings that are down there. You can like click on them and so on, but should have done something about it. There's a lot of space here on the left that they're not using in the game. So I'm not sure why they did that. It's, it's an older game. Oh, he went there, okay, so I get some money, which means I also get a black cube uh, as a bonus when I get money, I guess. I think so. No, it didn't trigger now, okay, it only triggers if I do a worker action, okay, that makes sense. Okay. So where do I go? Well, he's doing quests. Wow, that's a 20-point quest he's doing there. So he's picking up the lead. Um... Well, I need 
I need orange. I need a bunch of stuff. Huh. What am I supposed to do now? I'm, I, I'm just gonna go get one purple. It's a bit, it feels so cheap to just do, get one cube in an action, but sometimes you need to. Okay, uh, now I'm the first player. So now I will go over here to my own building. Come on. Um, and I get to choose here. So I'm gonna take a bunch of orange ones. And now I can do this quest, actually. I was planning to do this one, though. But this gives me white, which I can use here. So yeah, let's do this one, then. Nine points isn't bad, either. And two whites is nice, because I can use those for this. So once again, I need orange and purple. Okay. I do want to get some intrigue cards as well. I don't have any right now. Hmm. And he's doing a quest here for 20 points. Um, yeah, I want another commerce quest. I think I'm gonna go here, reset quests, and get one quest. So if they all reset, no commerce. Wow. Uh, I might do. I might do this warfare quest here. Because this is also one of these, when you complete a warfare quest, you score two extra points. So that's pretty good. I'm going to take that. And let's see, what do I need for it? I need three orange. That's all I need. Let's see how I'm going to pull that off. Now there's a commerce quest up here. Hmm. Oh, I want that one. But you can't do them all, of course. Uh, you only have so much time in the game. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick it up at least. I am going to pick that up. And let's see, because then I got uh, an intrigue card as well. So now the mandatory quest. I don't really like those against the AI. It's fun against human players, but against the AI, I rather just uh, get uh, stuff that I can you know get. Uh, I, I don't like to mess with my opponents when it's AI, so it doesn't feel that fun. Okay, let's see. I How do I get those three orange? How do I get that? I can go there, the yawning portal. Could do that. Hmm... This is kind of cool as well, the Palace of Waterdeep. I can get like an extra worker next round. I think I'll go for that, because it, it, it's nice. Then I get an extra worker next round. That would help me out. If I have the little ambassador, the little guy here. Um, now I can do a piety quest. I don't want to do a piety quest though, because that won't really score me much. Okay, hi Rosu. Okay, so it's round seven. Now I have uh, an extra worker, which is nice. I think I'll send him up here for the orange. And I'm not gonna do that quest. It's gonna suggest me <laughs> to do that quest all the time now, but I'm not interested. Um, and let's see, I do need, okay, so now I can do, yeah, now I can just go over here. And I'm going to take one orange and one purple. Like that. And now I can do a bunch of different... I'm going to do this one because that gives me two extra points when I do other warfare quests later on. Okay. The next goal is to do one of these two. I think I'll do the commerce one. Uh, so I need two orange and some money. I can pull that off. I 
I think at least. Well, I got the money there. Um, not really sure how to get the orange. So let's just go to the harbor for now. Play this against the green player because he's doing good. Just slow him down with the mandatory quest. And then I need to... Uh, okay. I need to... Uh, discard a quest. I'm going to discard a piety one. That's okay. That gave me three points as well. Oh, it's building that one. That could help me out, actually. Because I do need... Orange... Two orange. Yes, yeah, so I can do that. Oh, that was nice. I didn't expect that to happen. All of a sudden, uh, I can do that, which is perfect. So let's go over there. And I get to choose one. I'll choose another orange. And that means that I can do... This quest. So now I get an extra four points when I build a building, so that's going to be my next goal. And this is nice, of course, because I'll get six plus two for doing that quest, since it's a commerce quest. And then another four, of course, at the end of the game. But he's already taken the builder's hole, so I can build a building in the next round, really. And to do that, I need some money, so I guess I will go for money now. And they are just continue to do in quests. Um, um, yeah, he's in the lead now, the blue, okay. Wow, he got a lot of points there. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. Oh yeah, I get a black cube as well when I take money, that's awesome. The cubes are worth points at the end of the game as well. And, and the money are worth points if you still have some. So let's see, I'm gonna, I'm planning to Hmm. I'm gonna build a building. I might want to do this one though. So let, let's get two orange here. That's good. The plan is to do make a build a building and wow, I almost have everything for this. I just need two more orange and then I can do that one. That's twenty points. Yeah, I have to do that. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm gonna do in the last round. Hey, Jay Coyer, how are you doing, man? I hope you can hear me okay. Um. I'm not sure about the in-game sound on this one. Uh, it's the first time I'm, I'm uh, streaming this uh, Lord of Soap Waterdeep. So, um, I think it's okay. Okay, so now I just need two orange. So I guess I'll go here. And then I can do this quest. Which is 20 points and 2 coins as well. That I can use to build a building. Which also will give me... Um, what's it called? Oh, that's great. Yeah, that will also give me uh, 4 extra points when I build a building. So I'm really in the lead now. This is the last round. I think I can pull this off. It's really hard to keep track of how they are doing on quests and all that. 8 quests completed by the blue. If I click here, I get the green one. They also have eight. Uh, no, five by the blue. Oh, nine by the... Okay, I have eight. But it, de it depends on which type of quest they have. They have to have the correct one for their... For their thingy. Okay, so let's build a building. And I, I'm just going to go by points now. This is eight points. So let's do this. So that's eight points, plus I get an extra four. From my... There, there it is. So that's nice. 121. I'm not even in the lead. <laughs> I thought I was in the lead there, but the green AI is doing good. Okay, it's playing an intrigue. That intrigue card is fun. You get to place a worker on one of these not built buildings yet, which he did there. And let's see, they're going to each other's buildings. And hmm. doing a quest there, that's eight points. Okay, so it's my turn, and I don't have any quests, I don't have any money. I have two more workers, I'm not really sure. Well, 
getting stuff in the end game here is good because like getting money I can just get some money because that's points as well like every two I think is a point and when I got the money I also got a black cube which is one point each so that's nice and let's make it yeah okay Oh, he took that one. That means that I get a black cube as well. It's a bonus because he went to my building. And he's doing a quest. Oh, he gets two points extra for every building he controls. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm just looking for... You can do this, actually. Like, you can go through them like this. Because you can't see them down there. Um, I would have liked to go into that, but he's already gone there. So I'll, I'll just take... Oh, where is it? I clicked the wrong thing here. A sign. <laughs> I'm going there just to get some cubes. Because that will be points. And... We'll see how this goes. He's up to 130. Okay, so now it's the scoring. He gets 10 points for cubes. Um, he gets one point for money, and he was this character, and he did six quests. That's 36, wow. Uh, okay, this is gonna be tough. Uh, let's see. Five, okay, you got, yeah, I got four. Is that the builder? I can't recall. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna win this, I think. I have, let's see, I have eight quests, the 32. No, I'm not gonna win it, but it was pretty close. I was last place, but 161, 165, and 170 for the winner. A really close game. Um, yeah, got a lot of points for the, for the quest there. Okay, well, that is, um, Lords of Waterdeep, and as I said, you can play online. You gotta like register and stuff. I haven't done that. I'm just trying it out here. You can also play. Uh, you can also get the expansions here: the Undermountain, the Skullport, the Long Game. Uh, I might get the Skullport actually because I think it's pretty fun. I played that in uh, live board gaming. We'll see. I might pick that up. Not sure what it costs. How do I see that? In App Store. Skullport. Oh, I have to purchase it in Steam. Okay, yeah, I'll check that out. Um, the game itself wasn't uh, $10, I think, so it's not that bad. It's an older game, but it's fun. Real life is classic work and placement. And thank you so much for watching, and have a great evening or morning, or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye-bye.